Hey, what's up guys? In this Q&A Sunday, we have several questions on lens care. How do you take care of your lenses? How do you change your lenses in the field? We're gonna be getting into all these topics on how to take care of your lenses best since you invest all that money in on them right after this, coming in from the top this time. All right guys, welcome into another Q&A Sunday. I'm David Johnston, and on this channel we talk landscape photography, anything really outdoor photography, so if you're into that at all, consider subscribing to this channel. Now on Q&A Sundays, I take questions from subscribers to the channel, so if you're new here, if you wanna get your questions in and answered, consider subscribing to this channel, but today we have questions from Wayne Hutton. Now he had several questions that he emailed to me on lens care. So I want to jump into these really quick because photographers, number one, love their lenses. My analytics on YouTube suggest that they love lenses more than anything else in photography, which is no surprise because we invest thousands of dollars on photography equipment and lenses and what have you. So how do you take care of those best so that your investment lasts for the longest period of time possible? So Wayne asks, number one, what are like the best do's and don'ts of caring for your lenses? Like how do you clean them? That's, that's basically the biggest do and don't for me really is cleaning your lens. How do you clean your lenses correctly? Hey, what's up guys? This is how you clean a camera lens. Well, I see a lot of photographers like, and look, I've been guilty of this too, taking the tail of their shirts and wiping off the front of their lens, trying to get that lens really clean. Maybe you're in a pinch in time and you just whip out that shirt tail and start cleaning the glass of your lens. Please do not do that. Even with Kleenexes or paper towels, anything like that, do not use those to clean your lenses because what happens is, especially Kleenexes and paper towels, what they're made with is they have microscopic little wood chips that could potentially scratch your glass. And if you're investing all that money in your glass, you wanna be sure that your lenses are really, really clean and cleaned professionally. So what I do suggest that you invest in is a professional lens cleaning kit, and that's linked below in the video description. And what these basically compose of are glass safe, cleaning products that you can use on your camera lenses. They're gonna be like a little duster, a microfiber cloth, they might have a little spray in there, but be sure that you don't have any hard substances on the end of your lens or on the back of your lens when you're cleaning these out because any hard substances when you wipe anything off is going to scratch your lens. So what I like to do is take one of those air blowers, and that's linked below in the video description too, is just lightly and gently from a good distance is just blow off the end of your lens so that you can be sure that all of those harder objects are off of your lens and off of your glass so you can get to cleaning properly. Number two question is he asks, when you do have your lens in your camera bag, like do you have those lens caps or any protectors on them? The answer Answer in short, yes, but let me show you real quick. So I have here my Sony 70-200 f4 lens and it, this is exactly how it would be in my bag. Usually attached to my camera in the bottom of my bag, but I always have the lens hood on but reversed. A lot of times with these lens hoods, you can have them on on front or you can switch it around and put it on backwards and reverse. That's probably the fastest I've ever done that. Really impressive. But I always have my lens cap on. I have so many little things like gadgets and little trinkets that you can buy for photography equipment that I test out. And I don't want those getting loose within my bag, even if like a zipper breaks or anything and just bump up against my lens. A lot of these things are camera clips or anything like that that have metal attached to them. And I don't want any metal bumping up against the end of my glass. It's just a precautionary measure and it really doesn't take that much time when you get your camera out of the bag to remove the lens cap. When I have it out of the bag, I always have the lens cap off when I'm shooting so I don't miss a moment in the field. But when I have that camera and lens back in the bag, 
I always attach the lens cap back onto the front of the lens. Question number three is, how do you really change your lenses in the field? Do you have any tips and tricks on how to do that? Number one, try to change your lenses like in the car before you get out and go do something because you really don't want the wind picking up and blowing any dust or fragments inside your camera, hitting that mirror, hitting your sensor on a mirrorless camera. You don't want anything hitting that. If you're stuck in a situation, for example, I went out and shot Death Valley National Park and one of the mornings that we went out to shoot, it was really, really good conditions and we had to hike a great distance away from our car. I didn't really know which lens that I wanted to use because I had never been to this location before, so I just took everything with me. And I did frequently have to change lenses in the field. If you've never been to Death Valley, there's tons of dust, tons of sand, and I was really nervous about changing my lenses around in the field. I mean, by the time I got back, my lenses and camera gear were covered in sand, and I had to precautiously clean it all off. But in the field, what you want to do if you're stuck in this situation is kind of put your camera and lens that you're using down in your bag with your back to the wind. You don't want to be facing the wind and having all of that blowing on you. You wanna kind of block the dust and the debris from your camera bag and your camera specifically and stick that camera down in your bag and really have it close to your body so that wind doesn't blow any of the debris back into your lens or sensor. So once you have it down in your bag, you're just gonna quickly detach your camera, have the other one ready right next to it, kind of drop this one down and then bring the other one in to attach it. In the field, it's kind of dangerous, especially when you're dealing with dust, debris, sand, rain, anything like that. If you have a rain cover, have one of those handy. You can use your rain cover as like one of those old school film bags that you take the film out of the film case. If you know how to detach your lens and reattach it to the camera, use that rain cover as a bag and completely cover your lens and do everything without looking at it. Just have your hands up in that bag and you can do it that way as well. And that would be pretty much guaranteed to reduce the amount of debris that could potentially get into your camera gear. All right, so right after I explained how to do that on camera, I thought to myself, you know, I wanna brush up on this and see if I can actually do it really quickly and show you how to do it. So here I have my wide angle, I have a 70 to 200 attached to the camera, and I also have a rain cover that I'm gonna cover my camera gear with to exchange all of this in. So what I'm gonna do is completely cover my gear, reach in here with both hands, with everything covered, I'm gonna take my 70 to 200. It's now removed from my camera. I'm gonna set that to the side, remove the back of the lens cap off of my lens and find my camera body and gently attach it to my mirrorless camera. And there you have it. Okay, lastly, Wayne asks about other lens covers that you can get instead of like the classic plastic ones that you connect to the end of your lens, like silicone lens covers. I have honestly not used any of these. I can see why you would want to invest one. Getting your lens away from so much plastic and potential of hitting the end of your lens and scratching, breaking on something and having shards of plastic going back into your lens. And it makes total sense. I'm gonna link some of those options below in the video description for you to check out for yourself, but I can't specifically review those. I can give you good ideas on why you might want to use those, but since I've never used them, I can't theoretically review them for you and feel good about myself sleeping through the night. So I can see the reasoning for them. I'm gonna stick with mine right now and then look at potential silicone lens covers later on in the future, see if that would be a good option. The only thing I would worry about with silicone lens covers is, is there any shrinkage in cold weather? Is there any expanding in hot weather? Is it gonna firmly fit on my camera lens all of the time? Is it gonna smudge when it brushes up against the camera lens? All these are questions that I have, so think about about these kind of look at reviews before you buy one just from this video or somewhere else and kind of think through it yourself on whether or not you want to invest in one of those lens covers.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, if you found it helpful at all, give that thumbs up. I also want your questions for more Q&A Sunday videos, so comment with those photography questions below. Whatever you wanna ask questions on, feel free to comment with those. And lastly, if you wanna keep watching, that's always an option too. You can watch more Q&A Sunday videos or you can watch the video that's showing up on your screen that YouTube is suggesting that you watch based on your search terms. The Q&A Sunday videos are gonna be right above that video.